Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly love readings. These will be from the 27th to the 31st. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with everybody. If it's not resonating with you, that's fine. Uh, hit that notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out the other tarot readers here on YouTube. All right, let's get started for Virgo. Love messages for Virgo, please. Love messages for Virgo, 27th to the 31st. Virgo. Happy Australia Day to all of my Australia people. Here we go. Oh, that took a while. Okay, three of pentacles in reverse. Two of wands in reverse. Hmm. Okay. I feel like you guys are... Um, it's like you're deciding to move forward with something. I'm going to say some sort of communication. Okay, wow, two tens clarifying each other. Amazing. We'll go with one more, please. Yeah, you're moving, you're putting an end to this. You're putting an end to the ends, <laughs> the burdens and the pain. I want to know who this. Oh, there's too many cards. Okay. Definitely someone from the past. Um, yeah. I don't know whether you've had a falling out and you're like trying to reconnect. I don't know if this is maybe a family friend or just someone from your past that you're like, no, I'm not, we're not fighting anymore. I'm just going to have to deal with this. I'm going to have to take action and I'm going to have to reach out and try and communicate here about how I feel about all of this. Now this like I said, I feel like for some of you, this is a friend or family member, not necessarily love. Oh, there you go. Maybe it is. That just came out on its own, so we'll take it. Um, these two tens in reverse, very powerful over here. You've got the ten of wands and the ten of swords in reverse, and it's a real matter-of-fact feeling like, no, we're not going to do this anymore. This is just silly. We need to fix this and that's that it's a real yeah because you like trying to recreate you know some a happy environment a happy family again all right let's see what this is all about what's this three of pentacles in reverse someone had an opinion on your a new relationship that you just entered it may have been a, a water sign involved somehow but it's like the falling out was about you starting this new relationship they weren't in agreement I don't know why they weren't in agreement with this King of Cups, maybe they thought that they knew best. The King of Cups, um, it's possible that they thought that you two weren't right for each other. Um, yeah, interesting. Can I have something on that King of Cups, please? 
don't know about that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, this person thought you were making a bad decision. Judgment in reverse. Three of, three of one. Uh, try again. Three of swords in the upright. They were like, this is a stupid decision. You're only going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. Don't come and see me when, when this all falls down because you're going to end up with a broken heart here. That's exactly what they were telling you. Um, and so you guys went into, you guys had a falling out. There's been a falling out. I don't know if this is a family member or a family friend. Could be either. Particularly with this Six of Cups. Could just be a family friend or a very close friend. Someone that you see as family. Um, but either way, you're like, you've made a decision. You're like, no, this is silly. I don't want to carry this stuff anymore. I want us to sort this out and clear all of this garbage. Um, page of, oh, okay, you know what I'm going to ask? Good, thank you. Page of, these cards are amazing, P.S. Um, <laughs> page of Cups. Uh, yeah, you're trying to absolutely trying to restore balance, trying to harmonize, trying to, you know, heal this connection, new start, you know, passionate news. Like, this is what I want. This is the direction I want to go. This is how I, you know, want to, want to proceed with this. Um, take my stick, take my talking stick, talk to me. It's like you you feel very strongly about this because I feel very strongly about this. I'm getting really worked up about it. Um, okay, let's do... I feel like let's do thoughts and feelings. I feel like we've kind of covered what's on the table. Thoughts and feelings for Virgo, please. Thoughts and feelings. Ooh. Try again. Okay. I think you feel like you're going to really have to battle their ego with this um, Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of. It's like. Or you've ha already had to battle their ego. And you it's almost like you're preparing for battle again. Um, you, your ego may have been the issue here as well. I think both egos were, I think you both were very stubborn and you both had your own view on this. Um, but I, yeah, I feel like you are a little bit concerned that they're, they seem like very strong personality with quite a big ego and you're working out how you're going to battle that. Hmm. Interesting. Both of these cards are strong ego cards. This guy, his ego is so strong that he lost his friends. They're walking away from him. So interesting that the two big ego cards have come out in one thoughts and feelings. <laughs> okay, let's do can. Uh, sorry, could be dealing with cancer. Let's do Virgos. Thought, uh, other person's thoughts and feelings, please. Let's see other person's thoughts and feelings. Ooh, okay, we'll take that. Okay, so they are hopeful that there can be some sort of resolution. Um, they're kind of wishing that you guys could fix this, I think, too. Ooh, but they also see... They're, but they, they also are holding on tight to this... Um, I've got this well I'm not going to be the first person to break though like there's that toxicity I'm not going to be the I'm not going to you know um, I'm it's, I'm not going to be the first one to say sorry I'm not going to be the first one to apologise kind of thing they're kind of hopeful that you will and they're hopeful that it can be worked out, but they don't want to be the one that makes the first move. Now, the other thing is you may be dealing with an, an, an Aquarius or a Capricorn here. Um, there's also Sagittarius on the table, Gemini, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I think that's enough. Um 
They may be also obsessively thinking about this. They may really miss you and and kind of be a little bit codependent in the relationship and um, that's not stopping them from going, but I'm still not going to be the first one to break. (laughs) I'm still not going to be the first one to approach. Um, So if if that fits with their personality, then laugh along with me uh, because we all know people like that. I can certainly be like that myself, even. I think we all can. Let's do overall outcome, most likely outcome for Virgo, please, in this situation. Most likely outcome for Virgo in this situation, please. Here we go. Ah, sun cards. Awesome. The most positive card in the deck. So that's, that's probably the best outcome you could have actually got. Now, Nine of Cups in reverse. It's not all going to go your way, okay? It's not all going to, you're not going to walk away and it's all going to be perfect and this person's going to be gushing and telling you how sorry they are and all that sort of stuff. It's not going to go like that. You're not going to have everything you want. King of Pentacles in reverse. Um... You know, it's still going to be a little bit shaky at the beginning, but it's a positive step forward, a really positive step forward. There's going to be some time before you kind of get um, back the stable relationship. It will be a little bit instab- instable. Inst- in- there will be some instability. There we go. Um, three of Cups in reverse. You you got actually may go out and just get like really drunk, eat too much, spend a lot of money together of some description. Um, there's that overindulgence that's almost compensating to try and make it all better. Um, but yeah, look overall nothing to worry about here. Sun, and these are just temporarily in reverse. Is my feeling. Um, they're not stopping any progress. They're not stopping you guys from reconnecting, moving forward, having a good result, any of that stuff. All right, let's do advice, please, for Virgo. Advice for Virgo. Closing it, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is going to be an emotional time for you with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Um, I feel like it already is an emotional time for you, but you need to be careful not to get too emotional or over emotional or overly agitated. You have made a decision to move forward. Okay. Spirit's now saying, okay, you need to plan how you're going to do that. Like you need to consider what ways you have available to you before you charge off down a particular path. You kind of need to plan it out in your head first. You also need to be really generous, very um, compassionate and kind and charitable through this because, you know, it, it's going to be very difficult for both of you This where this queen of cups is coming in here like she is a very emotionally charged situation over here very stressful situation if you're not getting this bit right then you know these cards are going to be in the upright if you get them right and you follow this advice then there will be nothing to worry about you will let go of that all of this anxiety that you're feeling and all of this heartache that you're feeling and tower no more tower will be gone basically is what this is saying you know this is how you are going to fix all of this is by carefully considering what pathways are available for you to get to your goal and then being kind and generous and giving and caring and all of those sorts of things um yeah, imagine yourself to be the most kindest, charitable person in the world as you're going through this patient and loving and all those sorts of things. Let's do a romance angel for you. Did 
deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So um, there may be things that need to come out as part of this discussion. Um, there may be, have been some deception in how you guys have uh, separated. They may actually know something that they haven't shared with you. But yeah, just have your wits about you is all I have to say about that. Okay, Virgo, that's all I've got for you this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Please let me know what's happening here. And I will see you back here for the weekly reads. Bye. Weekend reads. Sorry. Bye. <laughs>